our bodies can reveal what words cannot. Martha Graham is a pioneer of modern dance who set the stage in the 1920s to inspire a new form of body-centered expression. Today, what Martha Graham said can be translated to technologies that we use to enhance our health and our well-being. With a little imagination and some design, these sensors and technologies can help express our emotions to the outside world in beautiful and meaningful ways. They can reveal what words cannot. I'm a biomedia designer, and I believe biotechnology can not only be expressive, but also functional. It can not only tell the doctors how we're doing, but it can inform us as well as other people how we're feeling. I create therapeutic biomedia. What that is are biosensors that read the body systems and then translate the data into visual, audio, or tactile displays. This creates a biofeedback for the wearer, but also acts as a tele-display to communicate to other people how we're feeling. I call this extimacy, externalized intimacy, showing how you feel on the inside to the external world. This offers awareness for the self, but also a communication tool that boasts empathy with other people. Therapeutic biomedia has many applications. It exists in a fusion between healthcare, fashion, and gaming. It's a new frontier, a collision of art and science, of medicine and media. I work with artists and engineers to create emotionally durable designs that people connect with, they create a bond with. They give a voice to people who have a hard time expressing themselves, from communities that have Alzheimer's, to the autism spectrum, to dementia, these designs can help give people a voice. It can also change the relationship of the patient-physician to give caregivers insight into how people are feeling. We work with a palette of biomedia. We take many different sensors, depending on what we're looking at, and then we translate that into analog displays. This paired with some machine learning, maybe some artificial intelligence, can actually learn the individual person. And if they're feeling low or discomfort, it, they can step in to maybe give the patient a hug, a vibrotactile hug, or lift them with light and color. The technology is based on the idea of synesthesia, and this is cross-sensing. So maybe you could see emotions as colors, or you could hear sounds. Perhaps you could see people's brain waves. One in 25,000 people have this condition. It's a gift, but with therapeutic biomedia and the neuroplasticity of our brains, these sensory substitutions can be learned. And now I'd like to reveal what words cannot. Here we have the neurotic design. This is a 3D printed, knitted EEG brain visualizer. This maps her brain states and shows the brain states with colors. This has been a New York Fashion Week and commissioned to become an interactive exhibit. We worked with medical doctor, mindfulness instructor, and a neuroengineer to create a class, kind of like a brain gym where we stimulated the mind and then relaxed the mind to stimulate the body, and at the end of the class, we exited in the flow state, the optimal brain state. And I'd like to introduce the next design. I've been working on the feeling of awe, that ecstatic bliss that you get when you see really good artwork, that rush of sensation you get up your spine, and beautiful nature. The French call this frisson, aesthetic goosebumps. And here we have a biomedia inflatable. It responds to three different sensors. We have heart rate variability, breath, and the GSR. And we're mapping the peak of excitement. And when we map that, the inflatables actually pattern that on her skin to increase and amplify that feeling in herself, but also express it to other people. Because this, it could be contagious. And from this, I went on to make a remote goosebumps design. I was inspired by the phrase, that gave me goosebumps, did you feel it too? Why not share these goosebumps 
and then pattern them in other people. Now for myself, yes, I'm wearing something as well. This is my most popular design. It's called the Gur Mood Sweater. The sensors are located in my hands, and they translate excitement levels, much like a GSR, but we call it the GER, the Galvanic Extremacy Responder. We translate that data into a palette of effective colors. With the bowl-shaped design of the collar, the colors re reflect back upon the wearer to give instant biofeedback how they're feeling, and then the extimacy of showing other people how, how I'm feeling. Wonder how I'm doing now. <laughs> um, and with this experience, I decided to add a new color, the fear and wonder awe. Um, the thrill of being very vulnerable on stage, <laughs> which is this tinkling, fantastic color. So very excited for the future of biomedia, fashion, and communication. And we're excited to see how you feel about it, too.